Morissetti v. United States is a landmark case in American law. It's about mens rea and it goes to the very roots of what criminal law is all about. The issues of law are momentous, but the underlying facts are on their face quite trivial. Joseph Morissetti was hunting on what he thought was open land. He saw what appeared to be piles of abandoned scrap metal rusting away, and he loaded them in the back of his truck and sold them for $84. In fact, the land was an abandoned Air Force bombing range, the piles of scrap metal were spent bomb casings, and the federal government asserted property ownership in those piles of scrap metal. The statute in question criminalized embezzling, stealing, purloining, or converting government property. So prosecutors indicted Morissetti for the crime, essentially, of stealing from the government. The problem was, that statute had no mens rea term. Most crimes require a wrongful state of mind called mens rea. Mens rea, which is Latin for guilty mind, is about someone's internal state of mind. But that statute didn't say it was a crime to intentionally take government property. It just made it a crime to take government property. Did Morissetti have a wrongful state of mind? No. He didn't intend to steal anyone's property. He didn't know he was stealing anyone's property. He wasn't even reckless or negligent about stealing anyone's property. Any reasonable person would have thought that property was abandoned. So why was this case significant? The reason was the prosecution's insistence that no mens rea term was required for someone to be convicted of stealing from the government, that theft could be strict liability. The underlying crime was minor, but the principle was major. The principle the prosecution was espousing was that mens rea is an inessential part of criminal law. The Supreme Court rejected that contention. The Supreme Court in that case ruled essentially that mens rea is too important to the very nature of criminal law to be dispensed with. When a statute is textually silent as to mens rea, judges have a measure of discretion to read a mens rea term in. The result, ever since, has been to keep American criminal law aligned with its core purpose, punishing blameworthy wrongdoing rather than punishing mere rule infractions.